Hey people, as you can see, I always hate starting off with the first slot. I've uh, built up the house. It doesn't have a roof. I've been debating with myself of the roof type. Oh uh, God, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, there's a, a specific type of roof that I want to build, which slopes up and it has a flat top. Let me, um, I will show you. We will pretend. Because this is what the fun's all about. I, uh, I didn't make this far enough apart. So let's say this is the roof, but it's a lot higher. Say this is dirt too. So you have the steps up, a couple steps up, and then up on top it's flat. That's the kind of roof I'm going for. Uh, my dilemma is my shovel broke. What to make it out of? I decided on sandstone. To lighten it up and uh, I didn't want to go with wood again you know I could use regular wood to lighten it up and use stairs and stuff but I went with sandstone and uh, the thing now is whether to use blocks or sandstone blocks and half slabs and build up a step that way and it's gonna look a little weird as we get to these parts but uh, we'll get there and uh, I'd like to have sort of uh, glass on the top so I can get sort of like a, a sunroof type thing for now that's my bedroom um, I don't think I can wait for 1.3 for the uh, sandstone stairs which would be the other thing so that's what it looks like um, I don't have windows here because I want uh, either paintings or I'm going to use the side of it for storage. And what's the point of having a window if you're just going to cover it up? You know, honestly. Honestly, people. Honestly. Okay, I wasn't cooking anything good. Uh, this is my... This is going to be a boat dock. I think I'm going to use um, half slabs to... Um, you know, build out a little ways, but I want to make it out of uh, the jungle half slabs, and supposedly we're getting uh, different wood half slabs in 1.3, so I got another month or so. And again, the wood half slabs for this particular thing. I did cut in, cut in, and take down some trees, and I'm regrowing regular trees, but I don't plan on expanding this way any further. I want to expand that way out uh, over the ocean uh, maybe follow the use the half slabs to bridge out a bit and you know like I don't know build uh, get my wheat farm get my tree farms I really need the tree farms <laughs> gotta left my door open but uh, I ran out of sand I had to trim back bushes here I ran out of sand to make glass for the windows, so I had to come over here to a beach area and dig up sand. Now, if you remember, I think we came here when we went around the island. Um, there's that one place. This uh, was sand from here out. I think this bit right here was uh, dirt but the rest of this was sand and I dug it up I would planted some trees for my own benefit here I covered it up with uh, dirt I didn't want to leave a big gaping hole and uh, I didn't want to use uh, some be using sandstone I didn't want to use the sandstone and then cover it up with sand so I just covered it up with dirt I don't think it looks too bad you know 
because we're used to seeing hunks of beaches in the middle of places. And down here, I decided to just dig down. <laughs> so this is my mind. Mind? Mine. And uh, this, other than the uh, uh, first the cave we went into over there, I got five uh, or seven iron. These are the first blocks of iron I found in this in this area. And yes, some of this was sand, as you can see, and dirt, but most of it was stone. So I thought I'd mine these for you. I will mine these for you, so there's no question. And uh, anybody that's new to watch my videos, wondering where I've been for three days, when my husband's off work, I don't uh, film videos because I want to spend time with him and uh, yeah so I'm not sure if this is a cave or just one of those baby spring pools I made sort of a uh, a mini base down here to uh, keep myself going oh there's more iron over there we'll get this uh. But yeah, I've been keeping the same general shape. Of the initial sand beach that I dug out. And I put in the skylight just to help bring some light down here. Because the perimeter is lit up, but right here it was usually dark. Not that I gotta worry about monster spawning, but there it is. So... We'll uh, investigate this and uh, see if there's anything behind it, and we will chit chat. Um, I talked my husband into walking with me to the video store yesterday, and we got some videos. Uh, I went up specifically looking for the Fright Night remake. Uh, and we found that. It was seven day rental. We usually look for those, so it's not like we have to rent it and then return it immediately. We've got time to watch it. So, I watched that today. Uh, the other movies we got were Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows, I think it's called. I don't have them close by to look. Um, Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows, which is the second one, and the Conan the Barbarian remake. But we hadn't been to the movie theater, or to the movie rental place in such a long time. Our account had been locked. <laughs> so it had been probably like six months since we'd rented videos. Mostly just, you know, fucking poor. And uh, there's not much that we want to see, to be honest. Oh, it's raining. Goody, goody. So this looks like it's just a little puddle. We'll probably leave this. Maybe, you know, make it um, like a home base. While we're down here. And... Torch it. So, the Fright Night remake. I love the original Fright Night. And the sequel, by the way. Um, I think it's a great movie. I was curious about Fright Night 2 to see how they would do with, uh, you know, the remake. When you love an original, you always want to know how, how good the remake is going to be. And that stuff, so, uh... I was curious, and, uh... It turned out to be not half bad. Uh, mostly... <laughs> mostly because of David Tennant's legs. Uh, David Tennant, uh, Dr. Ten, probably where most people know him from. I first saw David Tennant. <laughs> as Casanova on PBS. Excuse me while I'm such a snob. So. 
Anyway, Peter or David plays the Peter Vincent role, which was done by Roddy McDowell in the first movie. Um, Peter Vincent is now an illusionist, sort of like uh, the Chris Angel type illusionist, not like the Doug Henning, Hennig illusionist. Can con, can con. Don't let there be water. Oh, there's water, but there's coal there. Hmm. Must get the coal. I need the coal. Okay, that's dirt, so we will torch it. Cover it up. Dig a little further in. Do my iron. Iron! That was kind of... I don't know. I don't want to put a trap door up there. But overall, the movie was pretty good. I liked it. We just finished watching it. Watched in it? Hi, I'm an idiot. We haven't seen the bloopers, but, uh... Yeah! I would recommend it. It takes concentration for these... for these picks. Now, we shall continue mining. Oh, what else? Oh yeah, David Tennant, he's... <laughs> he's got a great pair of legs on him. It's all about David's legs. And it was nice to hear him not do the, uh... Oh god, I can't think of what that accent's called. Uh, I keep wanting to call it O-E-B. Um, back in um, early days of acting in Britain, um, there was a standard accent they implemented that all the actors had to learn. And that's why all the English people sound the same. Unless it was specific, oh, you're you're hired to be a chimney sweeper, or, you know, a cockney maid or something like that, and then they had the different accent. But you know, that's why um, David as the doctor sounds like um, Patrick Stewart, and uh, I was gonna say Michael Caine, but Michael Caine sounds like a Londoner. Michael Caine doesn't go up with that shit. But there's a specific type, specific name for that accent. And uh, David used it for Casanova. And as his role as the doctor. He wanted to use his uh, uh, Scottish accent, which is really sweet. But uh, if the stories that I heard was correct, they felt it was too close to... Um, Sylvester McCoy, who is Dr. Seven, he did a Scottish accent as well, and they felt it was too close, so they asked him to stay with the uh, OEB or whatever it's called. Check the description if you really want to know what the hell it is. I will look it up. I know where to find it. Uh, but he had uh, he had more of a, a hard London Michael Caine type accent in this movie. It was nice to hear that. So, uh, if you like horror, I'd say go for it. Rent it. Uh, I, we, I, we watched it in the daytime. As much as I like horror movies, I do get scared. <laughs> scared! 
Uh, so, we watch it in the daytime for me. Although tonight, I bet I ain't inviting anybody in. Hi, I'm your new neighbor. Fuck, stay the fuck outside, bitch. Speaking of accents, I am. Um, I live in Canada. I've been here over 10 years. I am originally from Iowa in the United States. And that's my main accent. <laughs> I do notice I lived in Iowa for 32 years. So, yeah. But I do notice uh, the more I'm up here, or the longer I'm up here, and the longer I'm around actual Canadians, uh, I start to adapt how they talk. And sometimes it bothers me because it can be really irritating listening to them. That's actually not how you say that word. So, my husband is Canadian, but um, his father is English. And uh, so my husband doesn't have a, a strong Canadian or Newfoundlander accent. And, uh, his mom, his mom's pretty clean in her speech as well, unless she's with, like, her family. Then she starts to get the Newfoundlander accent in. But, uh, if I hear myself going that way, I s correct myself. I don't want to forget how to say the TH sound, the th. Um, Newfoundlanders, most Newfoundlanders, uh, the, with the thick ac thick accents like from around the bay they uh, they say free or tree they're pretty uh, Irish they're from Irish sack originally so they say tree for three you know so they don't say the th th sound it's really irritating oh they also say Mazda instead of Mazda like it's supposed to be said. I say that with a look. My gum's gone weird. Bop, bop. Oh, let's get this iron. But yeah, this is the first iron I found in ages. So got a ways to go. So. Put that there. I don't want to put a trapdoor up here. I think I said that. And I don't like the inset trapdoors. <sighs> the pain of vines. Some of my trees have grown, but I think this needs uh really needs a roof. <laughs> to to cobble, oh no, not gravel, cobble, 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 and where's the it's the goddamn gravel, gravel, gravel. And sandstone, one, two, three, four. And I'm definitely gonna need more sandstone. So let's get to work on the roof. So don't have any more fucking rain. Ugh. Well, okay. <laughs> Guess you don't need to work on the roof now. Uh, I 
always trying to think of things to talk about. Um, I'm trying to get more into talking about myself. I mean, like, without... I live at da 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 Newfoundland, Labrador, Canada. Uh, that kind of thing. But, uh... Let's see. Uh, my favorite movies... Let's start there. My favorite movies are horror, uh, comedy, um, a fantasy, which would be... I put, uh, Science fiction, fantasy, um, high fantasy, that kind of thing. Um, I like mysteries as well. Favorite horror movie? Uh, it's tough. Cause, um, you know, it depends on, you know, you know, what horror movie scared me the most. Um, you know, what made me laugh the most. Um, I would have to say my favorite horror movie would be Evil Dead. Um, I'm trying to remember what horror movie scared the crap out of me. I never watched, um, The Exorcist. Oh, I watched some of it. But it freaked me out quite a bit. Um, the part that really scared me was when Regan is walking down the stairs. When she's doing her backwards crab crawl. That freaked me out. I actually like a lot of camp horror movies, honestly. Sorry to say. Uh, oh, fuck my dick. Looks like I caught it. Good. Let's see, other horror movies that scared me. Um, the Fog was pretty fucking creepy, and we're talking the original. Uh, 1980 with Adrian Barbo. It was fucking creepy ass shit. I remember I rented it, um, this is back in Iowa, when I was, uh, oh god, when did they start giving rentals out? Fuck. But, um, I rented it one night, and, uh, I had to walk and drop the, drop it off at the movie theater. I lived in a, I live in a pretty small town at the time so uh, it wasn't a super far walk for me and it was in fog <laughs> that was a little creepy um, magic uh, I never watched all of magic but uh, it was the idea of a talking dummy that scared the crap out of me. This would look better with stairs. When um, sandstone stairs come out, I probably replace it because I want a, a wider slope. I don't know what I mean. I remember. Um, when I saw Jaws, uh, it was hard for me to take a bath. <laughs> I go, you go to the bathroom. It sounds really pathetic, but uh, yep, I was afraid a shark would come bite my ass. I admit it. And that's it. So let's get to uh
Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh. Not, not today. Not today. Let's see, favorite, favorite comedy. Fall on the floor. I have to think about these because <laughs> my favorite movie is uh, Conan the Barbarian with Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Sendal Bergman. Love that movie. Fuck you if you don't like it. Fuck you all. Fuck you, asshole. Favorite comedy. Um, okay, I probably should define favorite. Um, which would be the movie that, if I could only watch one movie, you know, if I could only watch one comedy, this would be the comedy that I would pick to fuck my ass. Some days it doesn't pay to be a Minecraft person. Hey Minecraft dude. Oh that You saw me. You saw it. I clicked on the thing. I'm just clicked right there and it went on the thing. God damn. Yes, I'm delaying because I can't really think of anything right now. Um God, I may have to get back to you on this one because it's like, I've thought of like my top favorite movies of all time, but in getting them into specific genres is kind of a pain. Uh, that one for show. Wee! Where did that... Did I get that piece of sandstone? No. Oh. Um, yum, 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 yum. Oh. Let's see if we can at least finish some of this. Trying to think, but it don't work. I'm drawing a total blank. I am so sorry. I suck. I suck as a person. Cry. stone down. God damn. Just click on it. Just click on it. Just, just fucking click on it. God damn it. Stupid person. I don't know why I can't walk straight backwards. I always end up at a fucking angle. I heard something. It sounded like something opening chips or something. Oh my god. Eh. Well, that's that. <laughs> so much for the roof. So we need a shitload ton more sandstone. Do I have? I'd like to be able to run. 
sand. We got lots of sand. Two, three, four. I wish you could shift click into the crafting area. I wish you could use sandstone like I uh, use. You make stone bricks. <laughs> No, no, oh, oh. I do weightlifting today. I do at home weightlifting. I just do uh, do it with my arms and stuff. So, look at this. Why can't I walk straight? Because you're a woman. No woman will ever walk straight. I just got a little... I got a little freaked out. <sighs> Sandstone. You're on my last stone. Oh! Come here, motherfucker. Motherfucker! See, I don't know. See, I've rounded off the corners. Better, um... No, this is sandstone. Okay. I have to take that down. Ugh. But anyway. I may go up one more level and then put sand in there. <sighs> call it sand. You call it glass. Just don't call me late for dinner. Whatever. Asshole. And let's uh let's fix this right now. I'm putting a ladder in. Why you may ask, Co? Is this better? Cause you never loved me though, okay? You never loved me. There we go. I wonder if you can put... Let's do it. Let's see if you can put... Uh, trap doors. Words are hard today. <laughs> I'm still thinking about Ta David Tennant's legs. Let's see if you can put a trap door on a half slab. Uh, uh, because that would be cool. Nope. That's lame. That's lame as Jesus. I don't know why we can't do that. That's stupid. Now I have two trapdoors that I don't know what to do with. Anyway. I think this is going to be it for this time. Um, what do you think about? More to talk about. <laughs> I'll make another video. Um... I'm going to leave the roof for now until I can get more sand or more sandstone. So, the next video will be more mining over there. So, bye!